Good afternoon everyone, or good evening, depending on the time of day that you might be watching this video. It could quite possibly be in the morning. And in that case, good morning to you. I hope you enjoyed a chocolate donut with your breakfast because I know I did. Anyway, welcome to my channel and welcome to another episode of Tea Time with Tyler James. I will be your host on this adventure if you were unable to sort that out by the t-shirt that I'm wearing. To anyone new who's joining the channel, you picked an interesting episode to hop in on, but I appreciate you being here. If you're willing, go ahead and click that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you can stay up to date on the latest episodes and latest content. Now, before I completely talk myself out of doing this entire episode, we are going to have an honest conversation. But before I get into that, let's go ahead and roll the intro. Now, as I said before I talk myself out of doing this entire episode, that is because it has been quite some time since I've had an episode of Tea Time. It's been about a month since I've seen you all, and for the past week, possibly longer, I have been convincing myself, making any type of excuse why I shouldn't do this episode. So, I just wanted to have a sit down with all of you, hit the record button, and let you know what's going on. As I mentioned in the first episode of Tea Time, I'll put a link in the description if you're curious about checking that out. Um, I wanted these episodes to be real and raw and a better way for us to connect that we weren't able to do on Instagram or in the vlogs. Because in the vlogs, something is always happening. So I wanted there to be a place where we could have a more honest and real conversation and I can keep you guys up to date with what's going on with me. So, I'm gonna go ahead and bring it down a few notches and uh, we're gonna have a little uh, talk. We're gonna have a little chat here. Really, I just wanted to let you guys all know that I have been struggling. Um, I've been struggling to be able to translate my ideas onto video and I have been very discouraged with coming out and doing an episode of Tea Time. I've also been discouraged about having this conversation with you because it does leave me a little vulnerable um, but, like I said, I wanted it to be real, so here I am, sitting before you, being real, letting you know that I am having a difficult time right now making videos and doing episodes of Tea Time. This also comes from insecurities as well. Um, you may not know this about me, and you may not have been able to tell, but I'm actually quite uncomfortable in front of the camera. So sitting down and doing one of these is actually not very easy for me. I know I see some Instagram people and YouTubers who make it look incredibly easy and they even talk about how easy it is. I'll watch YouTubers say like, oh, I just threw up a video right before I went to the grocery store or right before I did this. I wasn't gonna put up a video, but here it is. And I wanted to, uh, wanted to let you guys know that that's not really me. I can't really just throw something up there because, for starters, I have a very high standard for myself on the content that I put out there for you. I personally have my bar set really high and I wanna always create epic content and I know that that is not always going to be the case and sometimes it can be discouraging for me from putting anything out there and you know, I know I shouldn't be that hard on myself, but that's just the way I am. And I thought that I would try to convey that to all of you. Also, being uncomfortable in front of a camera, you might be like, Tyler, then what are you doing being an actor and being a YouTuber? And I know that seems kind of weird, but in my entire life, I have always put myself into situations that are very challenging and force me to be better. Same thing with going to auditions and doing the acting thing, very uncomfortable, but I put myself there to better myself. And like all challenges, insecurities, and fears in my life, I will rise to meet this challenge because I'm a warrior and that is all that I know how to do. And we will get back on track and creating episodes of Tea Time and vlogs for you all to enjoy. 
Now changing the subject, let's go ahead and talk about some other news. Like I said, it has been a month since you've all seen me, so I'll let you know what's been going on for the last 30 days or so. A couple weeks ago, I just finished filming this epic project that I had to get my body into top tier physical condition. And that is gonna be so awesome to share with you all. Hopefully, I'll be able to share that in a couple months. And then I do have another big project coming out shortly after that, so summer should be really nice. In the acting world, I had a really big audition a few days ago. I was given this audition, it was a great opportunity. Got the script last minute, so I was really stressed out about trying to memorize all the lines. Fortunately, it was more of a read, so I didn't have to memorize it completely, though it would help. And I went in there, and I felt like I executed nicely and got very good feedback in the room. Found out that I was one of three selected for the role. And this morning I got the email that I actually and unfortunately did not get the role. So that is a big bummer. I was really looking forward to being able to sign on to this project. Would have been a nice film to be a part of, but that is the business and failure teaches us more than success ever will. Speaking of failures and for you all to just let you know that you should continue following your dreams. I've been doing this for quite a few years now and I can tell you that I have been on thousands of auditions and here's how the audition process goes. You go to an audition and it's between you and a thousand people and then they have a call back which is be going to be between you and like 20 people and then they pick three or four and put those people on hold to make sure that the calendars line up and everyone's schedule lines up and then they let you know which one they chose. And I cannot tell you how many times I have had callbacks to how many times I have had been on hold and not gotten the job. And I don't want that to sound like a downer, but again, that is the business. And like I said, failure will teach us more than success ever will. You are going to be tested. It is going to be hard, but you have to keep going. I'm not ready to give up on this dream, and I hope you never give up on any of your dreams. Now in other news, I did register for the big race, had the medium race a couple months ago, back in January, and that one was about nine miles. And this big race is gonna be somewhere around 14 miles and 35 plus obstacles. Now, what I can tell you about the medium race is that my body gave up after eight miles. <laughs> I didn't necessarily train for it properly, but I did notice that everything in my body started to shut down after eight miles. So this 14 mile race is going to be incredibly interesting to see what is gonna happen with all those extra miles. I will try to vlog it so that you will all be there with me. So stay tuned for that, but that race isn't for another month or so. I think that's all I have uh, to report so far. Um, I have been on other auditions and been doing other things, but that one for the film was the biggest, so I wanted to share how that all went with you. Um, I think I did, oh yeah, I went to a launch party for the watch company that I'm with and the party was awesome, and the food and drinks were incredible, and it was great company there. Actually, the most interesting, not the most interesting thing, but one of the interesting things about that evening was that I ended up at the Team 10 house, Jake Paul. Yeah, it was at Jake Paul's house, of all places, at the end of that evening in LA. What a strange world we live in. Anyway, if you have made it this far, then you know what's coming. Go ahead, <laughs> go ahead and put the chocolate donut emoji in the comment section down below and do this emoji as well. And if you want some bonus points, tell me what you think this means because I know what it means, but I'm curious to see how many people out there know what it means. And before we go, why don't we go ahead and read the tea? I seem to always forget reading the tea for tea time, which is very odd. You might notice the coloration of this tea, um, and that is because I've filled it up three times trying to do this because I've been so discouraged with everything I've been saying. I've just been going over and over and over again. This time I decided to just hit record and uh, see where it takes us because it's supposed to be real, right? So you guys should see how difficult it is and how much I struggle doing this. Anyway, the tea. 
All right, first message is everlasting impact with compassion and kindness is called love and your potential self is infinite. All right, I will leave you with those messages. Cheers to you. Thank you for joining us on this episode of Tea Time. Click that subscribe button if you're new and willing and hit the notification bell and I'll see you all in the next episode of Tea Time.